Hey guys, welcome to the first walkthrough of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I am so excited to play this game, guys. I've been waiting for the whole time of these last couple years about the announcements of it. And as soon as it came out, I was like, we're going to play this right away. So I hope you're going to enjoy this video walkthrough as much as I'm going to be enjoying playing this. If you enjoy my videos, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of these videos that are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and notifications. Hope you're excited for this journey as I am. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. Let's get started. Let's see here. We got some confirmed whether any saved data in your PlayStation account. Let's see here. We'll just do a quick check. Alrighty. Yep. Nice. We get the Leviathan summoning. Nice. Ramu? Nice. Well, we're going to stick with default. That. We're going normal, of course. We'll do active. Oh, man. This is going to be exciting. I'm waiting, Cloud. Here we go. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... It, uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wu Tai and has begun investigations into the matter. Ah, there it is. The Shinra building dismantled. There's some aqua energy spilling out of the pipes. Not surprised there. <laughs> Look at these graphics. A white fe Is that? Yo! It's Zack! Oh, this is awesome. Right off the bat of the start of the story. Oh my god, it's really him. I just wonder how this is going to work. Since now, for what we've been told of an understanding, this is like a different, maybe a different reality of some kind. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the hit. The fall of the Sector 7 plane. Why? That tornado really did a number on the city. I thought another reactor blew up. Which must have been caused by the tornado. When it rains, it pours. As you can see. Ah, over there! Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one suspect. So you're right. 
ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Back over here! Kill on board! The rescue Barrett? Pulled people from the rubble. Tifa. Quick, get the camera off him. Red. Come on. This way. Contact the SAR team. Targets have been secured. We are exfilling via helo now. Move it. Aerith. I kind of hope we can play a little of Zach, honestly. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, we're playing as Zach. Oh, that's awesome. I'm hyped. I'm already hyped right now. Dude, I hope we get some action with him. Oh, he can't slice his buster sword? That's lame. Hope we get a fight here soon. Let's kick this guy's asses. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Wait a sec, yes! Dude, this is awesome. This is one of the things I was hoping for in Rebirth. your guys' turn. Come on, let's get him. All right, let's kick him guys' asses. Oh, damn. He's using actually kicks in this too. That's pretty cool. Red dies in this reality. Like well, sacrifice himself for Earth. Where's the ancient? Heads are gonna roll if we don't find him. Just shut the hell up and search. This is so messed up. I love it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. That's the white materia.
No. five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then, and the little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with seven. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. coming down, huh? Hey, man. Feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Can't exactly blame him. I can't really handle being in the back of a car myself very much. Hey, rein it in. Sorry. No can do. Kids. Say. I'd like to be briefed on a mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Utah, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. <laughs> Fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where it's is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Oh boy. Got some fiends in our twelve! Shit, man. Forgot crazy how Sephiroth is with his sword. Too shocking all there, Cloud. <laughs> Play a Sephiroth. Oh wow, that's crazy. Oh, didn't expect. Whoa, he's fast. His controls are a lot different than his usually. Wow, that is so badass right there. That is why he's one of my number one favorite villain of Final Fantasy series. He was in a different league from the rest of us. No shit. <laughs> this is awesome. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. 
right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. I ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. The best they had. Nibelheim. Home sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Ah, <sighs> this is where it all started. I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Alrighty, this is the tutorial about the main menu. As most Final Fantasy fans know, the main menu is where we can access our material, our weapons, items, armor. For this game, it also has what we have, the materia, which is what we use to make our spells in that. To use our spells from cure, fire, analyze, and all that stuff. And also where we can get our items. And this is the movements. So in this game, they actually added the part where we actually climb up obstacles and stuff. Because unlike Remake, we didn't have that very much of an option. We had to follow arrows and stuff like that to do climb overs and stuff. So this is a definitely good new thing I'm actually looking forward to. But I will tell you this, people. I am so excited right now playing this game. So far in the start of this video, it started off insane with talking, so, playing with Zack. Maybe a girlfriend? And it seems like in that reality of Zack... Tifa and the group didn't get out of the building fast enough, and so they got critically injured. And as they were trying to escape, uh, take Aerith away, Red managed to bring down the helicopter, but it cost him his life. Zack saved Aerith, but she's in bad condition. We don't know if she's dead, or she could be in a coma now. But the crazy part is, the white materia appeared behind her hair. The white materia is a crucial thing about the story of Final Fantasy VII. Goodness. And honestly, I have no idea where this is going to go. Get your bearings. They also have the map system, which is typical in any Final Fantasy game. Well, the old ones didn't really have that much of map options back then. Now they do. Whoa! He's the old timer. A soldier. Then you are. Richard Sangan. Oh shit! That's Tifa's master. Traveler of the world and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. That last count. One hundred and twenty-eight. Compensating much? <laughs> In fact, one of them's from 
this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Yep. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Oh. Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. <laughs> Oh, I love the dialogue there with Tifa being like, really? But, oh, no. I was well aware of that being Tifa's master because of the old game, and also because I played the demo of the fall of Nibelheim, and then also later on they did last week was the extra DLC where you fight the fish boss, you know? But I'm glad they kind of... The only difference compared to the demo and this one... Is that in the demo they didn't do the part of Zack? So how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. After two years away and all that. Uh huh. So, as we see through this perspective of Cloud, but this should actually technically be Zack, but it, we already can, if you played the demo, you already can tell that the security officer was Cloud with the helmet. Oops, knocked over that. Let's go check here. I believe this is Tifa's house. Huh? Or, yep. You went to my place? I figured you might be there. Alrighty, we're gonna do a quick look around here in Tifa's room. A uh, Tifa's house, not room, sorry. But we will be. Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. Unfortunately, we can't. We can pace a little bit. We can't do a full sprint inside the houses, though. So we're gonna check in here. We got a bottle of ether, nice. That'll help us for MP stuff. And if I remember, this is Tifa's room. You went into my room? I did. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, from this is from the demo too, it was about playing the piano. When you play the piano, you have to follow the keys with your left and right analog sticks. It's tricky, I will not lie. I managed to only get a decent score on Did that one. Play it? We're not going to have really time to play it, so we're just going to... Thought about it, but no. I'll run into more pianos later, eventually. I heard there's an interesting dialogue for this. You went through my stuff? Now watch this. If that's your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. Yeah, me neither. Come on, <laughs> Cloud. I know you better than this. <laughs> that was a funny dialogue. I heard if you do do it, they call it, uh, Aerith and Tifa call you an asshole. <laughs> Which is funny as shit. Uh, maybe you would. I did from my first walkthrough of that. Oh, this is, uh, this one's rough. Won't lie. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. I'll be right there. <laughs> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a 
good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. <sighs> I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud! But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. <sighs> yeah, that's a... Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, uh, but most of them had to do with you. It's that was um. I never really got to see Cloud's mother from any of the Final Fantasy games. I played pretty much seven. I w well, I didn't have the PS One. I watched the gameplay of seven. And I played Crisis Core back when it was a PlayStation Portable. Then I, then I played like the updated version of it from the PS5. Never once seen Cloud's mother, but I can imagine that being a tough. This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. We'll do. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. <laughs> Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. You talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? A lot. <laughs> there? I can't really blame him, honestly. Thanks. Say cheese! 
Sounds like you were having a good time. One more. Yeah, I guess we were Later. for a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebo. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. <laughs> and then this is the sprinting system. You hold R2, use the left analog stick to move forward, to move faster, to get to areas quicker. And then smashing crates and now with our weapon, which could give us items, money, any of that stuff. I s I'm actually kind of glad they kept Air um, not Aerith, Tifa's outfit from Crisis Core. More updated, of course. But I'm really am. But honestly, I'm glad that they kind of kept what the story is going so far. But instead of it being Zack, it's Cloud that took his spot. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. Yeah, look at the details of this game, man. The mountains, the trees, the grass, I wish I could go everything. All over the world like you guys. Trips. I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. <laughs> Damn. But no, look at that. Look at the mountain there. That is insanely good details right there. They rent all out on this, and I'm really happy that I got to play this, and I'm glad you guys are be able to watch this. Hopefully, and get you into trying to get it yourself, or those who can't afford it right now, hopefully at least you can enjoy watching the game and the works that they put into this game, and you're going through this story of the journey. Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. Sephiroth... Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. <laughs> yes, you really are the best there is. Yeah, she is a monk fighter. Technically, that's what in terms she is. But uh, yeah, Sephiroth is a villain. I can understand why he became what he is, and at the same time, it's tough to see what he's become. He started off wanting to do good with Angeal and Genesis and then finding out the truth and then as he learned more his mind just couldn't handle it anymore and he snapped and well you know what happens in Nibelheim and then somehow he keeps coming back somehow he's able to jump in and out of the live stream or something like that if I remember With so much about finding out his origin and everything else, it, it's no wonder his mind snapped. Alright, we're about to get some conflict here. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. Here we go. Fighting as Cloud. His, you know, his sword style is with a buster sword. Holding the button will allow you to follow up with sweeping attacks. After dodging, will give us a range. And we can all also hold it to unleash the combo. So here, watch this for a dodge. That's our, that's our range right there. There we go. There's a stagger right there. Staggers, when they're stunned for a brief moment, that you could do some massive damage to them. This. Pretty quick. That was awesome. Damn, two trophies right off the bat. If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. <sighs> See, that's that's the Sephiroth. Since I did do this, I could skip it, but we're not going to. We're going to actually go through the story so that you guys can actually enjoy the story yourselves. There's more enemies initiating combat. Enemies will be alerted to your presence. You 
approach. So if we can get this first strike, we can get a little a first bar of the AB, ATB. So. There's our ability right here. We'll show you it out. Here's Braver. Does a massive swing damage. There we go, another stagger. Piece of cake. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Look, the combat system is so smooth, honestly. I'm not even having any trouble with it, honestly. The demo there was some like kicks here and there, but right now it just feels so good right now to play. Cloud is... I like... Oh dear. Cloud is definitely a versatile fighter for sure. <laughs> Tifa, nimble as ever. Good kick. Come on, soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Here we go. Now we can blo block. So there's two ways to avoid uh, either take less damage or avoid it. R1 is to block, circle is to move out of the way. If we can successfully, precisely stop a block, we can stun them for a brief second. Which I will show you here. There we go. Block that. And there we go. Another stagger right there. And for the map. That's that. Best way to take out an aerial type. If you can take them out with a range attack to get them on the ground or block it enough that'll stun them on the ground, that's the best way to take them. But Cloud's combat system is pretty one of a good ones to start with, honestly. There's targeting, you press down the R3, then you can use it to switch targets. Like this. There we go, another stun right there. We'll use triple slash on this guy. Yeah, didn't block that or hit. There we go, he's stunned right there. Uh, more big guys. Oof. Well done, Trevor. Thank you. Here we go. Nice. Block that. Another block. Nice. Nice. We got a stagger. Here's a braver finisher right there. I'm just going to show you this one because it's cool. This is the limit ability. This is where our gauge, if it's incre increases when... We're either taking damage or doing a full combo flow without interruptions in that. And then we get to use a special ability. So I'm going to show you right now. Cross Slash. One of Cloud's signature moves. He does a lot of... Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> Doing clout Zach's training. Be better. Cool. See you at the reactor. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Jeez. Uh we'll do the review materia tutorial. Now, equipping materia. You can equip materia from your weapons and armor, which is the standard issue. So you go here. 
You select the character, and then you press the triangle button to go to the materia selection slots. Now we have open slots, so we have the ability to put in a ass assess materia, which is a special ability materia that lets you scan your enemy to find out their weakness and what they can, what they can or cannot be hit with. Now, as I was saying with with Cloud, his style is about hitting quick, hard, but if he can, he'll do massive damage. Now here's his switch mode. Now his other mode is operator mode, which is versatile speed and strength, but Punisher, he's slower, but he does a lot of massive damage, which is pretty good to use when you're in stat when you stagger your enemy. Now we're talking. Which I'll show here in a minute. And now with Punisher mode. And we can launch counter blows too when we like guard or swing at the enemy. It's like that where I just did right there. So we took a little damage, so we're going to show you the spell system. Here's Cure, which gives us some health back. Which pretty much everyone knows for Final Fantasy, honestly. Let's get a little moving on here. Now, we can also use spells for range, but we don't have enough ATV right now to do it. Oh, he's a little... There we go. Sometimes you gotta pay attention to surroundings. Oh, not bad. They got good teamwork, that's for sure. Oh my god. These guys are pretty smart. Let's finish this guy off real quick. Nope. Oh. Nice. There we go, we got a stagger. <laughs> Man, this move movement is crazy. His Punisher mode's a lot different from what it was when in the first remake. I think they did a little bit of more of a upgrade in motion in that too, to it. Nice to make a potion. That'll come in handy for later. Got high max potions. So we'll just use... We'll use a Mega Potion. Heal up. Try not to waste too much MP as much as possible. Oh, there's a Materia up there. I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Let's see here. Come on, let's grab it. Oh, this camera system sometimes can suck. There we go. We got the wind materia, so we can use Aroa. So I'll show you real quick. That's just photo mode, just something you want to do a fancy and you know, off the side or something like that. Now we can do arrow. Hey, not that way. Oh, can't go this way. I took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. Just have to go through this way. Now this is the explore your surrounding system. So if you see that symbol with the arrows, that's the places you can go through. From climbing to secret shortcuts like this. Right there. 
Believe it or not, he's not mocking us. He's just joking with us, actually, surprisingly. Yeah, let's stop Baroth, do this. Okay, we're inside the building. More high potion. Two mega potions. We got a blue materia here. So let's grab that. It's a level boost materia, nice. Now, level boost materias are ones that you, if you equip it, I'll show you here. If you see the chain, the two orbs that are within with that tube there, that connects them. You use that to use it for like level boosting material to help boost up your level of the material that's connected to it. So like we'll do it with this, and so it'll upgrade Blizzard. So we gotta take this elevator. Wait, before we do. Oh no, never mind. We're good. We'll take this elevator down. Or is it up? I'm not sure. Talk about being crowded though. They really went into more full details of the looks of the characters, like the Shindra soldier, the Shindra troopers, and Sephiroth's new look, and Cloud with his arm, but, but he doesn't have his gauntlet in this part of the game start. And Tifa with her western outfit. Ah, uh, Hojo's experiment. That guy's a sick son of a bitch. There we go. Now I'm going to show you a little new of the spell. I'm going to do Blizzard. Now he's got pressure. Now we get to do this right here. And we'll see if we can finish this with triple thrust. Nope. Lock right there. Screamer is defeated. Cloud's very aggressive. That's pretty much his style, honestly. Poisoning is there where you know how the soldiers are created by are made by using Mako energy infused inside their body. Now from the demo you had to use this thing to suck up the Mako leak. So we should be able to get through this pretty quickly. There we go. Get there. Let's use the elevator to get down. Or up. One of the two. We're going up, it looks like. There we go. Some mega potion. With this, we should be able to get up to the factory, to the Mako reactor. the reactor and of course it rains come on but now ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching these video uh, videos of mine including this first video of Final Fantasy 7 rebirth I have been excited for this game it is my all-time favorite Just Final Fantasy game of all time then let me go first hey, I'm the guide here this game is the reason why I named myself Cloud Buster, because of Cloud's name and the Buster Sword. It's a really very important game for me, honestly, and I'm glad to be able to show a walkthrough of this. I really appreciate you for putting the time to watch this, people. Oh, we know how this is going to end. It's every cliche. 
But usually it's... Are you okay? Not really! <laughs> usually it's for an old bridge though, unfortunately, but it's not. <laughs> in fate's hands now. Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well... We certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. <laughs> and with that, Sephiroth has joined the party. Let's go, people. We got the legend. I was shocked from the trailers. You get to play Sephiroth, though. That was one of the things I've always wanted to play in Final Fantasy VII was Sephiroth, just for the fun of it. The closest thing I've ever done was from Dissidia. That's a Final Fantasy PvP game. <laughs> Close the yellows. The yellow objects of the walls. I feel like that feels familiar. This is the rest spot where you can rest and get some HP and MP back. So we're gonna do that real quick. Cloud sits, cloud sits down. Alrighty, he's all rested up. So then this is also purple material. This gives us HP up, gives us more HP. So I'll show you real quick. There's Sephiroth on, on our roster here. We have Cure, Fire, Arrow. We're just gonna probably de-equip Arrow and put in HP up. Cause I'd rather have more health cause Cloud had a little lacking of health there. So we're gonna start this fight here. Off you go. And wow, we get to start off as Sephiroth. This is the switch system. You use the left or right directional buttons to switch characters. And now playing the Sephiroth, he only slashes with Masamune or hold him for a range attack. And if we do a certain amount of attacks, we get to do a performance of either Pierce or Sword Dance. R1's Retaliation Stance, while well, in this stance, X right time to parry an incoming attack. Okay. Look at that right there. There's our range attack. There's our moveset, Telectic Fury. There's Thr- Oh, damn! Look at him move, holy crap. That is crazily insane. So, Sephiroth is our party leader. We'll start with the combat with him. Which I don't mind because this is probably the only chance we're going to be able to play as Sephiroth. But honestly, so far, the start of this 
first about those almost this first hour about almost an hour of this gameplay i'm enjoying this so far but we are going to stop here for today ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching my first walkthrough of final fantasy rebirth we will pick this up later as soon as i post the next video as i will do as soon as i can for the next play when i get through the next recording session and hopefully we'll be able to do a longer session of it. Thank you for watching, people. If you've been in, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel and want to see more of this future channel of Final Fantasy Rebirth or my other game right now that I'm also playing as Persona 3 Reload, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you for watching, people. You guys have a good day or night, and you stay safe out there. Okay, people? Catch you later.